In today's guide, I will go over the steps you need to fulfill to start and complete the Exomex Sentinel mission named Trace of Metal. I did this mission on a brand new gameplay. I have not finished any tutorial missions, including the base building and Artemis. I do, however, have all my building parts unlocked. To be able to start this mission, you will need a functioning settlement. For new players, settlements are unlocked after 10 warps. After the 10th warp, an NPC will contact you and ask you for help. Fly towards the settlement, accept the Overseer role and start with building the Overseer building. This should not be too complicated and needs easily obtainable materials. Once the Overseer building is completed, enter it and interact with the terminal in the corner. There, you will get the choice to start your following building. I am unsure if this is needed to trigger the Trace of Metal mission, but in my case, I started the next building and added the first materials needed. After that, I warped out of the system and did this another 5 times. In total, I warped 16 times. After that, you should be contacted by the NPC of your settlement, asking for immediate help. This should activate the mission Trace of Metal. Warp or teleport back to your settlement to find it attacked by a new type of sentinels. Defeat them all and once defeated, destroy or pick up all the containers the sentinels have dropped. One should give you a sentinel shell, while the others will give you items and if you're lucky, a hard frame. Now go and talk to the hologram of Thetis in the Overseer house. They will ask you to find something in the sentinel debris, which we already did, the sentinel shell. So jump into your ship and travel to the anomaly. Go and find Thetis, which should be found near the teleporter room. They will tell you they can fix the sentinel for you, he just needs some materials. Talk to Mercury first, they will give you a portal phylactery. Next you go and talk to Ariadne, who seems to be really off and weird. And they also will give you nothing, so go and talk to Gemini. They will give you a nanite filament. Next we talk to Hesperus, they advise you to go and talk to Polo. Polo will give you beads of glass. Now that you have collected the three items, return them to Tethys, who will put together a central drone for you. The drone cannot be activated in the space anomaly, so we'll need to try it outside on the planet. So teleport or fly back to your settlement. Open up your inventory and activate your sentinel. The sentinel will spawn before you, so now you can go and talk to it. No matter what you choose, it does not change the end result. In the end, the sentinel will share coordinates with you, which you need to follow. So fly to the coordinates. Once at the coordinates, you either will have to use the target sweep to find the exact location, or with some luck and a good eye, you should find a sentinel pillar. You cannot miss it, it's quite unique. Around the pillar, you will find three nodes, which you will have to destroy. However, the sentinels will attack you once you do, so it's better to go and find a good vantage point. Be sure to take out the support drones first, which are the repair, and the summoner drones, otherwise they will make the coming fight harder. Once all three nodes and the sentinels are destroyed, you will be able to access the panel. Do not forget to pick up the containers, because there are some great goodies in there, which might give you the necessary materials for other things to build during this mission. Access the panel and follow the instructions. You should receive a blueprint after that. Call in your sentinel again, as they will give you the following steps. It will have a little chat with you and then let you know to install the parts you received onto the Minotaur. You can call in your Minotaur in several ways, being it the summoning station on the freighter or using a Geo Bay. Once the Exomac is landed, install the first module onto it. You of course will need the materials. After the part is installed, call in your little sentinel again. It will tell you there is some trouble at the settlement. Once arrived, activate the Overseer's terminal again and an NPC should show up. Respond to the situation how you like, there does not seem to be a different result to your choices. Send the settlers to one of the buildings. After that, you can call in your sentinel again, who will send you to another location. This time, it will be in another system. Jump into your ship and warp to the location on your galactic map. 
fly to the marker and this time you should find a manufacturing facility. Again, the game will send you to the location where you will have to do a target sweep, but the building should be visible nearby if you look closely. Blast the doors and get rid of the sentinels and then activate the module inside the build. Allow it to access your exosuit again. This should give you your second exomech part. Call in your sentinel and it will tell you to install it onto your minotaur. Once installed, the mission should update and it will notify you that your settlers have returned from that mission. Teleport or warp back to your settlement. Once there, activate the terminal and the overseer's building and follow the narrative. Deal with your settlers as you deem fit. This should result in a third part being given to you, the legs. To install this part, you will need a hard frame engine and it's normally obtained by killing one of the walkers and picking up the container they drop. If you do not have any hard frames by now, you will have to go and find more centrals until one is given. It is now time for the final part, the pièce de résistance, the chest piece. Call in your central once again and it will share with you a location of an elite walker. The mission will also advise you to install the paralysis mortar, which is a fun piece of equipment. However, we will not be needing it. There is no need to fight the walker by hand. Just fly over it, shoot it from your ship and the better your weapons, the quicker it will go down. Once all sentinels are destroyed, go and pick up the large headpiece of the walker. I would advise you not to mine it yet. This should give you a pristine brain. Once you got the big brain, mine the headpiece to receive a regular walker brain as well. The pristine brain is not usable yet, so we need to bring it back to Tethys. Give the brain to them and let them work their magic. They will give you a blueprint for the chest piece once done. There is just one thing that needs to be done still. Exposing the brain to the Crimson. Jump into your spaceship, fly out of the anomaly and once the mission shows on screen, start pulsing. Similar to the Delict Freighter, you should see some decoding going on. Once the mission tells you to stop, then pull out of pulse and that should show you a messenger of the Atlas. Present the brain, which should now transform in a radiant brain. This should now be ready to build the final part of your Minotaur. Once all parts are installed into the mech, you can call in your little friend once more. And it will give you a final mission that will sever the ties between your Sentinel and the Hive. As before, simply destroy all the nodes and the Sentinels and sever the connection at the panel. This now ends the mission of Trace of Metal. Enjoy your upgraded Examec and Pet Sentinel. They are both great to have with you in a fight. Thank you for watching and as always, be sure to like and share this video with your friends if you found it helpful. Enjoy the new update and I will see you again. This was Beaverbum, goodbye for now.